All right, so welcome to Photoshop. So today we're going to be going over the quick tip of the day, which is Command Z and Command Option Z on a Mac, Control Z on a PC. So this will toggle back and forth between your last step. So if I come in here and I just make an adjustment and hit OK, I can just hit Command Z and toggle back and forth between those adjustments to see if I like it. So we'll make that adjustment and I'll make another adjustment here. And Command Option Z lets you toggle back in time. So Command Z is only the last step and Command Z will let you go back in time. So what we're gonna do here is I'm gonna come over and run an action on this. All right, so here's the action. You can see it's made a whole bunch of different steps. So what I'm gonna do now is show you Command Z. So Command Z is just toggling back and forth between the last step, so not so helpful. Command Option Z keeps going back in time. So these are the steps in order in which I've made this. So you can just toggle, toggle back in time until eventually you're gonna to get to the beginning state of what you did on this image. Now, you're gonna be limited to the amount of steps that you have in the history palette. So if we come up here and we go to preferences in general, and we are gonna go down to performance. So you will notice that I have only 50 states available in my history. So I'm gonna be limited to 50 steps on that. I can't go past that because that's what I have it at. If you want more, you can increase that. But Command Z, Command Option Z is something that I use just about every single day. So hopefully that is helpful. Um, that's the quick tip of today. If you have any comments and questions on it, you can leave those below. And don't forget to subscribe.